Aboriginal law has come very, uh, has come very far in Canada over the last 20, 25 years. Um, I'm wondering where does it need to go next? What's the next, what's the next big challenge on the horizon, uh, in your opinion? I think it has to go uh, three places. Um, one is that I think that uh, Canada and the provinces, of course, and the territories would have to complete uh, what I would term the treaty making process in those areas of Canada that do not have uh, treaties or lawmaking capacity agreements. Uh, uh, I think they have to complete that work as well. Two, I think that there is a requirement to nationally rationalize uh, where First Nation law is going to go in the context of Section 35.1 of the Constitution Act 1982. That area uh, or the placement of First Nations in the scope of Section 35.1 has not yet been realized, much like the province of Quebec, uh, which who have not ratified uh, that particular uh, document yet. Uh, First Nations are striving to just uh, be ad admitted into a membership in a national context. And I think there has to be a national reconciliation or a national dialogue in a constitutional context to determine where First Nations would fit. And thirdly, I think uh, there has to be uh, some discourse amongst First Nations nationally themselves in terms of the diversity of their rights and how to reconcile to ensure that there is no have not territories of the land. Um, uh, for example, I come from the Yukon Territory. It's very rich, both in terms of resources, in terms of uh, uh, lawmaking capacities, and uh, whereas in some parts of Canada, you don't have that discourse that allows uh, the provinces to engage with the First Nations that reside there. So I think there has to be uh, that aspect that's encouraged as well. I guess the follow-up question is, do you expect that to happen, and if so, over what, over what time in the next little while? I would say that uh, with respect to the national debate, I would see that occurring uh, probably in the next 25 years, um, and uh, there has to be a re-engagement in terms of how one describes the inherent right under Section 35.1, which is embraced and accepted by Canada, albeit undefined at this point in time. So I think uh, within the next 25 years, that has to occur. With respect to the shorter terms, I see the discourse between the provinces and First Nations occurring fairly early uh, because of the multitude of legal cases that are currently before the courts, whether or not First Nations or the provinces have the right to infringe upon First Nation rights. Um, I think there, there is that need, and I see that uh, more in, in the short term. Dave Joe, thank you very much again, and congratulations on winning the President's Award. Thank you very much.